All right, time for this week's matchup. It's going to be Javier Fortuna versus Ryan Garcia. This is the first time, well, this is the second time for Fortuna to be a 140. He's a career 135 guy in lower, maybe 130. Uh, last time he was at 140 was against the Granados. <clears throat> this is actually Ryan Garcia's first um, fight at 140. Uh, his last fight was at 138. I don't know if he's a 140 pounder or what's going on with that. Uh, Javier Fortuna is 37 and 3. No, he's, a, he's a veteran in the game. And Brian Garcia is 22 and 0 with 16 knockouts. He's out of Victorville, California. This was based in Los Angeles, so it's basically a home fight for him. I see both of the fires getting ready to go here. And Ryan looked confident. Um, Fortuna, he's a veteran, so hopefully he can cause him some problems by being a little off the docks. But, uh, you know, this is a classic uh, Southpaw versus Orthodox fight. And Ryan Garcia went to the straight right hand several times in the left hook. Um, his left hook is his best punch. Uh, Fortuna's best chance is he has to get in close. He cannot be at range. I mean, look at Garcia. He look, Garcia looks big, man. I mean, he's. He's a 140 pounder. I, I thought initially when I seen him at, you know, they listed him at 140, I thought maybe he was having some issues in training camp. No, that's not it. Uh, he's a 140 pounder. So he was, like I said, he's controlling the fight with his jab. Um, good stepping forward, putting pressure on Fortuna. Fortuna, you know, he has to go to the body. He has to do something, use some right hooks. Um, he can't. The funny part is because Fortuna keeps his, his um, right hand down so low. Um, he's open for the jab, which is usually difficult to land on Southpaw, but Ryan Garcia had no um, he had no difficulty tonight hitting him several times with the jab, the right hand. See, there it goes again, the right hand. Fortino. Yeah, I mean, he was moving around, trying, I mean, he was looking like he wanted to do something, but he wasn't really accomplishing his task. <laughs> so, Ryan just kept on walking him down. And like I said, look at the size. Brian is a 140 pounder. Oh, body shot. Left hook to the body. Brian set that up by going up top and then putting it to the body. Now, Fortino, he spit his mouthpiece off, but that's a that's a veteran tactic, man, to give him some extra time so that, you know, he can recover a little bit. He's trying to move around. He's trying to, you know, he tried to come forward, try to press the action a little bit after he got knocked down. But it, it was more <laughs> bravado. He wasn't. He didn't actually kind of move forward. He kind of looked like he wanted to do something, but he didn't. So Garcia back got back on the jab again, coming forward, corner checking him out between rounds. All right, so we're in the fifth round. Garcia, like I said, see that there's that left hook. He went downstairs with it before. Started using it upstairs. Still controlling him with the jab. You know, he had very responsible pressure. Uh, he came forward with a, with a strong, strong straight jab. Uh, he used the right hand. Oh, drop Fortuna again. Fortuna tried to hop up real fast, which is not a good thing. That's how a lot of guys end up getting really hurt. He just he just getting overmatched in this fight. I mean, he. I don't know if he if you call it hanging in there or not because he just he just didn't have it. And Garcia is just not even afraid of nothing coming back. Just stepping forward with the jab, corner for two. For two, like I said, look where he's at. He's just completely the range is all bad for him. Like I said, he's getting checked out. Corner's urging him on, trying to get him, get him hyped up. You know, there's two knockdowns of the fight, and we're not even. We're just now getting to the sixth round. Oh, nice! Oh, see, straight left hand, right hand. Oh, fight's over. You know, basically gets counted out. Garcia helps him get up off the mat. You know. Showing some sportsmanship. Good combination. Just no chance. Well, the thing that came up is, um, you know, Brian's been talking about his next opponent. And this man, Javante Davis, is a guy that's getting spoke up, which is, I guess, more realistic because Javante has fought it up as high as 140. Um, I think he, his last fight was at 135 against uh, Roly Romero. Um, so this is the guy that um, Brian's looking to fight next. That's the one, the main name he was talking about. Uh, that's, I won't tell you right now, I, I got Tank in that fight. Tank hits very extremely hard. Now, uh, Devin Haney was there as well. Um, 
you know they 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 presented the idea to him now Devin Haney came campaigns at 135 he is the undisputed champion there is no other champion um he owns that division uh, that's where Ryan Garcia was most recently at but um he, like I said, this fight was the last fight was at 138. This fight's at 140. He looks like a full fledged 140. Um, well, Devin Haney, uh, you know, there's supposed to be a possibility of a re, re yeah, it's this second time I've seen Devin Haney kind of shut that down, mentioning that you know he's still weighing his options for his next fight. So there's still a possibility. I don't know if Garcia is gonna take this fight. I mean, I mean, Devin Haney. Like I said, he's the undisputed champion, so it's a very difficult fight. I don't know if, you know, but like I said, Ryan is currently, it looks like he's fighting at 140. Um, the, champion is at, the champion at 140 is Josh Taylor. I know he's probably been stripped of a few of his belts, but he's the undisputed champ at 140. Um, I don't see Garcia doing that. Um, you know, I don't know. Until I see him in the ring with somebody, it took forever for this Fortuna fight to happen and that fell through prior. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll see it when it happens, you know, so. But it was a good showing for um, Garcia. Like I said, he got the stoppage. He did what he's supposed to do. Um, so it was a nice little fight. Um, he just went in there and he knocked out Fortuna. That's what you're supposed to do with a veteran like that. Um, well, thanks for watching another video. This is the King of Kings Boxing. Go ahead and get the like button and subscribe. Thank you.